What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just share my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I wanted to do just kind of like a relaxed, chill, talk over video this actually started because i was sent an article i think it was like through my gmail or something all of a sudden on my phone popped up an article and it was something along the lines of like 11 fall fashion trends or like 11 trends you don't want to miss this fall kind of thing so i read the article and i thought it was pretty good so i figured we'd just go over the trends that were listed but before we start number one i truly believe that trends are just that like they're just something fun i don't necessarily think that you should follow trends if you're not in to them like I think that trends are just a suggestion for something that if you like it it's fun to play on but I highly suggest wearing what you like you guys I pick up things while I'm shopping or thrifting all the time that are not currently on trend and I just hate that whole like chuggy thing that's going on in the internet with like the young generation I don't know I'm just a firm believer that you should be an individual you should dress creatively you should dress how you like and express yourself in that way so all right I printed it out because I'm a nerd and I'm not good at remembering everything so if I'm looking down it's because it's on my little notes here um, I will link the articles that I refer down in the description box if you wanted to check them out myself and I will also show you guys the photos from this article that they use as an example for a visual some of them I don't have in my closet and that's why if you guys want me to do a separate video of like trying to make outfits out of all these trends that would be something really fun or if you guys want me to thrift certain trends and also I noticed that there is a lot more trends going on than what's listed here but these are just what was in this article first off is 90s revival 90s pieces have been spotted like here and there or just like one piece of the outfit and what they're saying is that it's like 90s head to toe like full-on 90s outfit so as an example they used a baguette bag with a sheath dress tall square boots and maxi length cardigans or even like a cute white t-shirt over the silk slip dress or just a slip dress in general with a spaghetti strap and then kind of like grungy Doc Martens or overall is paired with a polo tee. Personally, there's a ton of outfits from the 90s that I really resonate with and that I feel like I might want to try. I never wear the white t-shirt underneath the silk slip dress, but I think that that would be super cute and I love it when other people do it. So I think I'll try to style that and see how I feel in it this fall. And I do really like a chunky Doc Martin. So I think that that's one of the outfits that I'm personally going to check out and give it a whirl. And it's something that I don't have to buy anything new. I already have everything in my closet for that one. I also really like the overalls with the polo tee. You guys know I recently got some new overalls and I just really want to start wearing my overalls more. So I'm going to try that one as well. I think that it would be really cute. You guys, please comment down below and tell me any of your opinions on any of these things. Are you guys into these trends? Are you not? different outfit ideas. I love it when we have conversations in the comments and I even love it when you guys are talking to each other in the comments and you know we're just being a community here so don't be shy and comment down below if you have anything that you guys want to tell me or chat about. <laughs> Number two is saturated hues. Traditional fall and autumn colors obviously kind of go more into like those neutral tones or a lot of like natural colors. So a lot of like dark olive greens and that like deep maroon color along with all the beiges, browns, blacks, grays, those kind of colors. But what we're seeing a lot of this year is the autumn type colors but in more bright punchy colors or the moody colors that are really boosted and bright and saturated so a lot of jewel tones but kind of like those bright intense jewel tones and very rich colors that are a lot brighter than in the past years i personally am loving this i know that a lot of us have been on like this color journey over the last year or so and i've been picking up more color than I ever have before in the past. And I have been really having fun with color, which is so different for me. I'm really, really liking these bright colors and I'm very excited they are going more into the fall and winter months, which isn't as traditional as in past years. Also, this article was definitely noting that a lot of the people are mixing and matching the bright colors together. So outfits that have two bright colors put together are very, very in. It definitely makes for a bold outfit, but we're seeing a lot of it. 
I think I'm gonna try doing that, you guys. Let me know down below if you guys want some more styling videos of me doing outfits that are maybe like outside of my comfort zone. Number three is loose fitting denim. This has been a thing for a minute now, but it's just continuing. We are kind of steering away from the more like tight, jagging, skinny jean, skinny ankle, and getting more into a loose fit. So this includes baggier boyfriend jeans and mom jeans, but then especially flares and more boot cut or just like a super wide leg silhouette. I personally am definitely a fan of this. I know that a ton of people are not ready to let go of the skinny jeans and if that's you don't feel the pressure that you have to. For me I'm so excited though and I really like a more loose fitting leg on me. For outfits they were saying to pair the looser denim with a kind of like cropped or more tight top. So something that's like a more slim fitting tee or a slim fitting sweater, a cropped sweater so it's a little shorter on the top or much more tailored blazer. If you don't have something that's more fitted, they did say to tuck it into the pants. I think when something is so large on the bottom, it's really nice for the top to be opposite. Also, you guys, those kind of like skatery type jeans, you guys know I found a bunch of those a few months ago and I haven't been wearing them as much as I want to, but I think I will once we get more into the fall season. I definitely wear much more of my jeans and like looser fitting pants with those. Number four is vests in general and this is like the sweater vest but also kind of like those like button down vests that we're seeing just vests vests are coming back in at first i wasn't sure how i felt about this but now i am fully into the vest trend i like the sweater vest and i've also been picking up the ones with like buttons and zippers and all sorts of different vests I think that they're really cute and I've tried the trend and I feel like it is for me. They are saying especially the ones that have a lot of texture or like a really chunky knit and a lot of detail or different patterns on it and also very colorful. I've seen a ton of like colorful striped sweaters. I saw one at Zara recently that I absolutely loved. I feel like this is definitely something that I can pick up at the thrift store and will be looking. I have quite a few that are in more of like a neutral color but I want some bright color vests. Oh, and you guys, I've definitely noticed and seen the puffer vests really in, like the puffer jackets, but the vest version. Into that, loving that. And if it's warmer weather and it hasn't quite gotten so cold, so maybe like right now until maybe October, to wear nothing underneath the vest and just wear it as a shirt. I saw it styled with a baby doll dress and that was super cute. And then when it starts to get colder to put it over like a turtleneck or another sweater. I really like the vest trend, but I know that it's not for everybody. <laughs> Number five is midriff sets. I know that sets have been huge for a minute now. We were doing the sets that were sweats in early 2020 or really all of 2020. And then we kind of transitioned into sets that were more for going out once things started opening up again. To me, honestly, I just like any of the sets that are going out, but they're really saying that stuff that's peeking out kind of like in the midriff area with the two sets is what's really, really big. Number six is printed pants. They're saying that in the summertime they have all those like flowy printed pants that are like much more like light and airy. But for fall it's much more of the printed pant that's like out there and fun that we've been seeing. But it's a little bit more of like a thicker material. So more of like a corduroy a jean material. Something that's a little bit more structured and warm. So a lot of like snake print, uh, zebra stripes, punchy florals or like chunky florals and checkerboard more structured fabrics, and also more tailored cuts to your body versus the flowy summer version. A styling tip to go bold was to do some print mixing, so some really fun, crazy prints together, or to pair it with one of those like bright, saturated hues that we talked about earlier. A fun print and then a bright bottom or a bright top. Number seven is puffy or textured or quilted handbags and I knew that this one was coming. I started seeing it pop up a little bit in spring and I knew that this would be here by fall time so I did personally pick up a few pieces right over here. I don't know if you guys can see but I have a black and white um, crossbody that looks like it's almost like a puffer vest or a puffer jacket but it's in a purse form and then also this one right here is from Target. It's a fanny sack or like a utility purse but it's in like a textured puffy quilted 
kind of style. Also just really intense woven leather cl clutches that have a lot of that rouging. Almost like that baguette bag from Bottega Veneta or even a lot of like the quilting and like really ruched scrunched up material on purses. I like this trend as well and I will be rocking this one. Number eight is the color lavender. So they're saying anywhere from a light pale lilac to kind of like a mid color of lavender has been seen all over the runway. Apparently we're gonna see a lot of lavender. I personally don't feel like I have seen that quite yet. Maybe, maybe we're gonna be seeing it soon. I have seen a lot of the color orange and Kelly green. And you guys know I've really, really, really picked up on the Kelly green trend. I am into it. I have been buying tons of Kelly Green and I've seen it everywhere. Like they're saying it's lavender. The color is lavender or pale lilac, but I've been seeing Kelly Green shoes, accessories, hats. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure if I'm just not paying attention or it's not quite here yet, but they're saying it will be here or if it's just a trend that it's like great on your lavender, I'm doing Kelly Green. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah. Was that number eight? I think this is number nine. It is platforms and flatforms. So platform, chunky shoes, chunky sandals, chunky sneakers, and also a lot of the like loafers and Oxfords. Seeing a lot of it, you know, Doc Martin has the cute little loafer Oxford I don't know the difference really. And then I've been seeing a lot of kind of like those like preppier Oxfordy, loafery type shoes coming around. Anything that's like a chunky lace up boots and also a lot of like clogs and 70s inspired kind of like heels. Anything that has like a wood chunky platform bottom. We're seeing it everywhere. I think it's really cute. I've noticed a lot of people pair them with like socks the like cute little frilly socks or just like chunky socks to really elevate an outfit and I'm here for this one. This has kind of been around for a little while and I'm glad that it's staying because I have definitely invested in quite a few pair of shoes um, that have a chunky heel on them and I love it. Next up is one that I haven't seen a ton of, just a little sprinkled here and there and it is sequins and sparkles. They're saying that this is called revenge dressing, almost like it, what happened in the 20s. They really broke out in the 20s and wanted to go all out and really live it up, which is what we're kind of doing now that we were in lockdown for so long. We really want to go out there and have a lot of fun and really look nice and live it up. So they're saying that all of the uh, New Year's Eve style sequins and other shiny metallics and then wearing them to wherever, to the grocery store, to coffee dates, brunch, anywhere and everywhere, just for a quick jaunt to the grocery store. And they say to pair all of the fun sequiny stuff with super casual tops or something that's very basic. I will note it's also something that you can pretty easily find in the thrift store. I feel like not a lot of people pick up the sequins or like glittery pieces. I don't feel like it's been really on trend for a long time. So this is something that you could probably find pretty affordably in the thrift stores or secondhand stores. Number 11 is dark academia, which totally makes sense for fall time to me. They're saying it's the Heathers with a punk twist, which personally, I don't know what the Heathers is. Please don't come for me in the comments if I'm the only one alive that doesn't know what the Heathers is, but I don't. <laughs> but I like the, the sound of the Heathers with a punk twist. Or they're saying Harry Potter, but for chic adults, which I can totally get this. Like I've been gushing about, I have been watching the new Gossip Girl reboot and they have inspired me. I even did an entire video thrifting Gossip Girl reboot inspired outfits. And I think that I could reincorporate some of those outfits into this dark, dark academia thing that's going on. So the breakdown is pleated mini skirts or pleated midi skirts in dark hues, a lot of tailored blazers or jackets, extra points if they're leather. Preppy plaids in deep shades of green, navy, burgundy, brown, and black, which I feel like is just like such a classic fall. Like I feel like we see a lot of the preppy plaids every fall. When I did the Gossip Girl video, I found a lot of these things and I will definitely be incorporating that kind of like preppier thing that's going on. I got a bunch of the tennis skirts, 
that I feel like I can definitely transition from the warmer weather into cooler weather with tights, chunky platforms, and a sweater. The thrift store is a great place to figure out what you truly like because there's not so much pressure from what's in style at the malls or like the stores that are telling you what to wear. When you're in the thrift store, there's decades worth of stuff and what you're naturally drawn to, listen to that. Like even if it's not popular now, who cares? If that was popular in the 90s and you love the 90s style, rock it girl or boy or whoever. If you're into 70s or if you're into all of the things. I like to shop in the men's section, in the women's section. I like to look in the maternity section. I will look in every size. It could be huge and oversized. Well, I'm gonna belt it or I'm gonna tie it or Oh man, you guys, I could go on and on about this, but I don't want to be here all day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this trend report from Pure Wow. I thought it was fun and good. And I liked most of the things that should be popular this fall season. There's definitely a lot more trends that I have noted from other articles as well. So let me know if you guys wanted part two. Let me know down below some of the trends that I left out and I can put in maybe part two if you guys want to see that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!